Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Mike Hurd. Enjoy the next 24 hours. We're under high pressure. We've got a warm weather pattern likely to sweep across the entire state. So it's going to be mild. Temperatures could be in the 60s and 70s. For some of you, it's going to feel a little bit like late summer. But upstream is a pair of storm systems. This one's a little on the slower moving side, but the more potent storm system is the one behind it. So these two weather makers will work in tandem beginning Thursday. Bigger impacts by the time we get into the weekend. So as you look at the true view forecast map in motion, high pressure, warm southwest flow again, shooting for 60s and 70s tomorrow. But starting Thursday morning, this cold front, very slow moving front, is moving into northwest Montana. And that's going to catch up to southwest Montana in the afternoon Thursday. That's going to bring a quick shot of shower maybe some dusty winds and then a little break. So this will bring some slightly cooler weather once you get behind it into early Friday morning. And then what we'll pick up are these little bands of rotating uh, precipitation that are going to continue to trickle through on your Friday. So it's not going to be raining and snowing all day Friday, but with a second storm system moving in Saturday, well, I do expect to see more widespread precipitation. So the first initial storm should be on the light side for valley and mountains, but it's the snow potential that's going to be increasing at higher elevations with the first go around, but snow levels could come down to 5,000 feet Saturday night into Sunday morning and these pockets in pink, especially along the state line, the Rocky Mountain front and then down here towards Yellowstone National Park and a few areas in between here locally in southwestern Montana. There could be, well, Missoula National Weather Service says there could be one to three feet of snow of uh, those mountain ranges along the state line. Early, early estimates, and that's likely going to change over the next day or two, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it because there could be some winter weather highlights issued by the time we get into the weekend. 62 right now in Butte, uh, mostly cloudy skies, although the icon says mostly sunny. We have north winds at 3 miles per hour, maxed out at 61 today. That's a little bit above the normal, although a little cooler than normal this morning. 59 degrees in uh, Bozeman right now, hit a high of 59 on the MSU campus and 25, the starting point this morning. So wonderful temperatures. We've got 50s and 60s right now, and that trickles up up along the Rocky Mountain front off the eastern plains, just a little bit cooler in the far eastern half of the state. They're generally in the 40s. So tonight, with mostly cloudy skies, your numbers are back up into the mid 20s through the lower 40s. I'll call it cool, but generally cloudy. Tomorrow, look at these temperatures 50s, 60s, and even a few lucky 70s are in there. Party cloudy, warmer than normal for at least one day, then things will begin to change. 30s and 40s here as you look towards the south and east under somewhat cloudy skies and a mild temperature day for tomorrow. 50s, 60s and a few low 70s are in there and party cloudy to cloudy is the base forecast. Now with a slower moving cold front, it doesn't catch up to Bozeman until late in the afternoon, so we still could see around 62 on Thursday, but then we start to come way down on our temperatures below average again, as you can see in the weekend weather pattern with a chance for a little bit off and on rain Thursday a few showers are possible Friday, but a higher probability of rain or snow Saturday into Sunday with a few lingering showers into Monday. Definitely staying on the cooler than normal side this weekend and early next week. 65 for Butte on Wednesday, but only around 40 on Sunday. Lows will fall below freezing. Rain could change over to snow. Accumulations are possible for Butte Saturday evening into Sunday morning. Dillon cold front moving in Thursday. Watch for some gusty winds and a few showers and the next go around will show up Saturday into Sunday, but 65 tomorrow only in the lower 40s over the weekend. And for West Yellowstone, it may be rain initially with 55 degrees on Thursday, but eventually that changes over to snow as your highs and lows will come down quite a bit by the weekend into early next week. All right, thanks, Mike. Dom Timbits in with Sports Right Now with the story of a certain Bozeman High football player. Yeah, it's not often, Kevin, you see a player going from Class B to Class AA with some success, but one Bozeman Hawk football player is doing just that. That's next in sports.